So today I'm doing a collaboration with Paula. Now I'll have her YouTube linked in the description box below and also her Instagram. I highly recommend you go check out her channel and her Instagram. She creates beautiful content. And this was the letter she sent across to me today. So in this video, I'm going to be creating a kawaii pen pal letter back to her. And I just thought the package she sent was so cute. I love this little bunny and we've just had Easter. So <laughs> I think it's very on theme at the moment. And I like that she's used a lot of pinks and blues. So you open it up and we've got some stickers in here. I think this is like a little... Um, like writing kit with some um, post-it notes and I want to show you if I can get this in focus there's this adorable little snail at the bottom here and also these cute little animals on all the little sticky notes and a cute little hedgehog I thought that was so lovely I wasn't going to take it out because I want to keep it all wrapped up for now and then you open it up one more time so it opens up into this full flip book we've got some goodies in here with all of these little writing papers, which I thought was gorgeous. And then this stamped Happy Mail here. And then we've got a bunch of washi tape samples, which I'm going to put in my journal. So I'll pop these in my journal at the end and I'll show you what they look like all unraveled. And then I've also got a little letter here. So I'll reply back to the letter. Um, but I won't show you guys that one on camera, but I'm so keen to see what's inside of these stickers. So let's have a little sneak peek. These are so cute. Okay, I might have to do like a little journal spread at the end of this video with all these goodies. These are so kawaii. Okay, so we've got like a little Totoro cacti. Oh, this little character. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. Definitely hit the kawaii theme. This is adorable. Yeah, I'm going to have to do like a full kawaii spread with all these in my journal. Oh, I love this to and from. I might even use that in today's video. I'll pop that one aside. Thank you so much, Paula, for sending me this. And I'm going to create a snail mail back to you now. So let's get started. Hi guys, voiceover Brittany here. If I haven't already said hello, welcome. <laughs> um, I'm doing a collaboration today with Paula, so I will have her YouTube linked in the description box below and we're also doing a collaboration video so we've both posted a video at the same time and they're both pen paling videos so go check it out 
and please subscribe to her channel if you like watching her pen pal videos. It's not easy to build up a YouTube channel so I would highly recommend you check it out. I've actually been following her on Instagram for such a long time now and her mail art it always gives me so much inspiration. It's just gorgeous, the like collages she does on envelopes. So yeah, if you have Instagram, definitely check her Instagram out as well um, because I get a lot of creative inspiration from her Instagram account. So I wanted to check in with you guys and see how are you guys going? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to read about what you guys have been up to. Um, I am back at uni. I, it's my second week this week. I should be doing my readings right now for uni, but I'm making a voiceover for YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I'm doing instead of actually doing my uni work. But it's fine because I will do it tonight. Oh my goodness. I just realized it's 9.57 p.m. and I haven't started any of my readings. So once I finish this voiceover, that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the night. Um, and I'll be having a late one. Tomorrow we actually have a class excursion, which will be fun. And this weekend I'm going to ha go to my grandma's 90th, which I'm really excited because all our family's going to come together and celebrate. The last few weekends I've actually been camping. So I went up to Noosa Heads, um, I think it was about three weekends ago with a friend and we did beach driving and I think this was the second time ever I've done beach driving and it was so much fun. We ran up dunes and there was this beautiful rainbow and then we had a double rainbow and there was just like kangaroos hopping around the campsite. It was very cold though. I was not prepared. In Queensland, um, it's pretty much summer like all year round. So when it dropped, yeah, I did not have gloves or a beanie or anything. So I was definitely not prepared for the cold up here. Um, Dan and I have been in Queensland for just coming up to a year now um, and yeah we haven't really experienced winter so that was interesting. I froze my butt off um, but other than that oh yeah I also went to O'Reilly's the weekend after for camping. I've done a lot of camping the last month. Um, I haven't been camping for probably like a year and then suddenly I've had two camping trips in a row. We decided to do a camping trip to celebrate the end of diploma level because a lot of people finished in year one and just finished with a diploma. So we decided to organize a camping trip with each other and it was so much fun. We had safari tents and we drank um, a lot of wine, <laughs> which I don't usually drink wine. So the first night I actually got wine from a winery going to the campsite. And then I woke up with a headache, so I decided not to drink wine the second night. Um, but yeah, we went bushwalking and I filmed the first camping trip and I'm actually going to upload it um, onto Patreon because you guys on Patreon asked for a vlog and to show around Brisbane. So yeah, it will be a nice relaxed camping vlog this month. Um, what else has been happening other than starting uni and going camping. Not a lot other than that. I did post on Patreon last month a video about making adult friends and I had a like amazing responses from everyone commenting um, on that video about their own experience with friends. So I didn't actually go into a lot of detail about my own experiences of making friends as an adult, but I basically said that there's this been this reoccurring theme in my life where a lot of people have reached out to me about making friends as adults. And around the fourth person I spoke to about this conversation, I thought it would be a interesting topic to bring up um, for a voice voiceover for a video on Patreon. And then reading everyone's responses was just eye-opening to see that a lot of people have gone through the same things. And it was really interesting to see that when people's lives changed, friends just come in and out. And 
leaving high school has probably been one of the biggest transitions that people have been telling me about. And then there's this transition through kind of letting go of a lot of high school friends and finding your own tribe. There's also a transition when people become parents. And then again, there's usually transitions when people leave different workplaces, um, even studies when people leave uni or other places of study. Um, so yeah, different stages of life basically is a reoccurring theme. And then it just being difficult for a lot of people who have anxiety. Um, I actually was thinking about this the other day and I actually started pen paling when I was going through a really hard patch of not having a lot of friends in my life to reach out to. So I would say for anyone who is going through a rough patch at the moment, um, maybe reach out to someone who can be part of your support network. So either a parent, a sister, a cousin, or even a, a work colleague, um, someone you may study with. And if you don't have that, maybe look for some other ways that you can find someone to reach out to. Because I think it is very important throughout this time, the last couple of years especially, where we have been going in and out of lockdowns, um, that you have that strong support system. And that may just be one person, or it may be a few people for different needs. I know that I've got friends when it comes to my studies and work. And then also for different things in my life. So I reach out to my mum when I'm going through certain things, my sister when I'm going through certain things, my partner for certain things, and um, some like small business owners for when it comes to like online stuff. So it's really important that you do reach out when you do need that support network and that help. If you are in lockdown, it might just mean that you need to jump on the phone, set up a Zoom call, it may just be as simple as sending a DM on Instagram, writing in the comments, writing back to your pen pals, um, or even like Snapchat. I don't know how you guys communicate these days, but maybe just reach out to some people that you think may be struggling throughout this time or some people that maybe you haven't spoken to in a little bit and just see how they're going. Just make sure you stay alert to the people around you who just may need someone to talk to. Um, it may be as simple as a call um, and just catching up and seeing how someone's going. When I was going through a rough patch and I didn't have a support system around me, I know it was difficult to reach out to people and it's easy for me to say reach out to someone but when you take a step back you think who am I supposed to talk to about certain things. So at that point in my life, I actually went and saw a psychologist and she helped me work through a few stages and a lot of things at that point in my life, I really just needed to have those sessions to just cry. <laughs> I know that sounds a bit sad, but I was bottling a lot of things up through that period of my life and I just needed to talk it through with someone who was at that professional level and I did work on a lot of things and one of the major things that she pointed out was that I did not have a friendship support network around me. I obviously have an amazing family and an amazing partner but sometimes that's not enough when you need other people. Sometimes a support network reaches out beyond just family and loved ones um, and there's different people for different things in your life, like I mentioned. And for me, it was having girl time and going out with the girls. Um, my partner has always had a strong group of friends and his social life has always been great because he's got a lot of really good mates from work. And for me, I was kind of just tagging along for a while and it wasn't healthy for me to keep doing that. Um, and I really just needed that outlet of just either going out with the girls and it didn't mean going out drinking, it just meant anything. So when I did end up getting a job in corporate, I found the most amazing group of girls um, and would have dinners and lunches, like meet up for cafes, 
in the morning and it, it just completely changed my life. So I'm so grateful <laughs> for those lovely people who entered my life at that point um, because that's exactly what I needed. I needed a group of girls who I really got along with. It, it didn't need to be a group of girls, it just happened to be. <laughs> I worked in a, um, an office of all women so it happened to be a group of girls. Um, but yeah, without them, I was really struggling and it was just that little bit of just calling someone up and saying, Hey, do you want to hang today? So that's what's been happening in my life lately. I've been talking to a lot of people about the difficulties of adult friendships. I've been camping a lot, starting uni, not doing my uni readings, <laughs> which I should probably get started now and still making videos for you guys. So next month I'm actually thinking of doing a self-care sticker sheet and I'm not sure if I want to do it planner sticker size or the regular size stickers that I make because I have really been enjoying um, decorating with my snail mail planner stickers on all my envelopes and I don't want to make self-care stickers that are like the same as everyone else. I see a lot of ones where it's like face masks and bath times and I know those things can really help a lot of people um, but I'm generally I'm not a bath person <laughs> um, that might shock a lot of people I had a bath once this year and it's because my sister gave me a Harry Potter bath wand and I really wanted to use it it was glittery <laughs> um, but yeah in general I, I like showers a lot more um, so yeah I wanted to do a self-care stationary collection that's more up my alley so something like when I need to like release and, and get stuff out there or reach for like art materials um, since I'm doing art therapy that's definitely a therapeutic method for me um, so in the comments if you're still watching this video let me know what kind of things you guys reach out to being a creative community when you do things to focus on self-care and yeah I think that's it for this video today well, I hope you enjoyed watching me make some snail mail um, just snail mail I was gonna say a snail mail tutorial and yeah please go check out Paula's channel and show some love to her channel and her Instagram she has an incredible Instagram as well Anywho, thanks for watching. I may or may not see you guys next week. Bye.